Uh, hi guys, so I'm going to talk about um, Face Track No IR, um, which is a uh, facial tracker that I'm using for my flight simulator so that when I move my head left or right, um, the view will pan across um, left and right. It looks really good. Uh, it's not as great as the um, head cam stuff, you know, the, the stuff that have the uh, points on. Uh, that monitor the tracking. Um, they use infrared for that. Um, this is just a straight webcam. So what I'm using is a uh, Logitech uh, HD720. That's a C270 webcam. Um, works absolutely fine. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to show you basically the software. So first of all I'm going to show you the uh, webcam controller so at the moment everything is set to basic I basically just plugged it in um, and we go from there so standard settings uh, everything set to auto power 50 Hertz um, and that's it so it's the webcam that you see there so let's just close it down and now we're going to open up the face tracker software Okay, so the first thing you can see here is it's picked up my uh, my face, turning left and right. Um, you can see it's uh, adjusting all the settings. So uh, when you actually go to the flight simulator, you look right, all the view, as I said, will pan across. It looks fantastic. Um, so I'm going to go through some of the settings here. So uh, under curves, now the first time I used this, um, it was uh, very you know a small amount of head movement used to make it um, spin all the way off the screen and if you turn your head too much then as you can see here you lose the uh, you lose the ability to track your face obviously it's got to see your face um, so the settings that I've got here is on the yaw um, what this means is basically I move my head 30 degrees and the view will move by 90 degrees so um, 30 degrees head movement will pan the screen 90 degrees so I've done that for, for left and right basically um, now also what we've got on pitch up and pitch down so I've not really changed that yet I've only been experimenting with your left and right um, works really well so I've left it at that for the moment so we'll have a look at flight simulator a bit later um, but that's just to help you set it up basically. Um, so what we've got here is, if I stop it for a minute, um, you can see um, the Face API and the Flight Sim Connect SP2, Service Pack 2 that is. Um, so this is, this is quite interesting because um, you load the basic software package free. Um, they ask for a small donation actually, it's not free anymore, so that two euros, two and a half euros or something, so it's not going to break the bank. Um, but the plugins are free, uh, so it uses this one here called Face API. Um, just picks up pitch, roll, your X, Y, and Z, um, and you tell it to uh, you tell it to use the, the camera. Um, that's it basically. There are no settings for flight sim. Uh, it just picks it all up on its own. Now one of the other things that I have set is the shortcut key so um, to center the, 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 the view basically if you're in the middle of a flight sim game and it goes out slightly which it does from time to time um, I've got the uh, keyboard set so that I'd hit shift left and that will recenter all the screen for us so again I'll show you that when we're, when we're having a fly later. Um, that's it basically um, so what I do is I'll clip this together with the uh, flight sim and we'll go from there. 